Overheats Game Time. Konnichiwa Internet, and welcome to this episode of Overheats Game Time Unboxing. So, as you may recall, I had an unboxing for the uh, Hori VLX Kuro, and um, I finally decided that I needed a bag for it. After trying to take it a couple of places, and um, no matter how careful I was, it was just too large and unwieldy. I'd eventually end up bumping something and scratching up against something. I decided, okay, I kind of see why this needs to be a bag. Now, I have always been able to just stick a bag into a um, backpack before. I have a fairly large backpack, and I was always able to just stick one in there, and I was fine. Uh, this thing is just too big. I tried to put my my VLX in there, and it just made my backpack cry, right? So the only way you're putting that thing in anything is if you put it in a duffel bag, and most duffel bags are pretty thin in terms of protection, so you're also going to have to throw a bunch of freaking socks and underwear in there with it too to keep it protected, so I started looking at bags. And uh, currently there's only one place that I know of that you could find bags that are specifically made for that large stick, and that's split frame. Uh, I will have a link in the description so you can uh, check out their website for yourself. Now. They have uh, two different bags. They have one bag that's for normal size sticks, so if you have a Mad Cats or whatnot, uh, they have really, really good bags there for those. And then they have an XL version, which is specifically made for the Hori VLX. Um, as of this uh, recording, they are actually sold out of those, and it doesn't say sold out more in stock soon. It says sold out, no more will be available of this design. So it is entirely possible they may make more. This, however, is not an unboxing for one of those. This is an unboxing for their limited edition Street Fighter Shadowloo Transporter Bag XL. So this bag is only going to have 175 pieces made worldwide. So if you're thinking about getting a bag for one of these, the other one's already sold out, so you probably would be better off going ahead and grabbing one now. Uh, they're still accepting pre-orders for the bag. The bag is officially launched on June 1st, but they have uh, pre-orders available now, and they knock 20 bucks off the price, which drops it to a measly $100. <laughs> so yeah, a $100 bag, that's kind of a lot, but I mean, a really solid backpack costs you 60 to 80 depending on what you're looking at. So a 20 bucks more for a bag specifically for a joystick uh, is a little bit, but when you're talking about a $300 stick, you probably want to take better care of it than, you know, I attempted to and failed. So, and I'm a pretty careful guy too, I'm not a klutz by any stretch of the imagination, I'm very careful and I'm very aware of things around me, and yet still I was not able to protect this thing as well as I wanted to. So I decided to go ahead and grab the bag, so let's check this out. So uh, as you can see, it comes in a nice big box. Uh, like I said, this comes out in June, uh, but I am currently recording this the day after I got the bag, and it is May 20th I believe. Uh, the reason I got it early is because I'm an incredibly famous celebrity. Everybody on the internet's constantly asking me to do stuff for them. I'm not lying, I swear. This is so true. Um, so they decided to give me my, my bag early so I could share it with you guys. <coughs> so let's just get on with this, uh, this un uh, unboxing, shall we? Alright, so we've got this bad boy slid open. Let's take a look, shall we? Get it up there for you. You guys can see that okay, I think. All right, here we go. Cool, cool. So it comes nice and snug in a perfect size box here. What do we got? The, this paper right here. Okay, what's this say? This says, you paid money for this. Cool, thank you. I, I needed to know that. All right. Okay, so looking at it um, inside the bag, it already looks... It already looks uh, like almost like a backpack material. It's like really solid, sturdy material. This is It looks like a good, the good stuff. Yeah, okay, there's nothing else in the box, so we can just go ahead and set that aside. It comes in a plastic bag to further protect it, I assume, with a little uh, split frame logo. Um, yeah, this looks really nice. This is a collaboration with Street Fighter. Let's go ahead and tear this the rest of the way open, shall we? What am I doing? There's an opening spot right here on the bag. <laughs> Alright, there we go, oh yeah, okay, yeah, this this is really nice, um, yeah, it's got, it's really, yeah, this is really nice, this is really solid, it's really thick, uh, let's see what we got here, so there are a couple of clasps here for exactly what I'm not sure, um, we've got the little split flame, split, split frame logo on the, uh, on the zipper here, let's try to get that up on the camera for you so you can see it, oh yeah, probably, would be helpful if it was right side up, huh? There you go. So if you unzip this, you have... Oh wow, okay. So when you unzip, the, unzip this, you have... The... This is... Okay, okay. 
So it comes with two straps that you can connect together and it basically becomes a backpack. So you can actually wear it on your back. Um, it's pretty large. I'm not gonna set, set it all up right now, but let's just see how big this is on me, just to get an idea. I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm about um, six, one and a half, six two, to give you an idea if you're curious. So uh, yeah, okay, that's totally fitable. It, it even has um, a cross strap in the front. I mean, you could, I mean, Honestly, you could probably take this hiking if you wanted to. I mean, obviously a hiking backpack would be better, but that's, yeah, okay. So that's that's a good idea, um, given that, you know, if you're taking this bag with you to tournaments or to uh, to casuals or whatnot, um, it's probably better to put it on your back rather than try to carry it like this, because it doesn't look like it has any kind of actual handle on it. So you would probably just be using, yeah, so you just use it as a backpack essentially, which is, like I said, probably for the best. So also, um, this is the uh, custom Shadowloo transporter. So this bag has different coloring than the other bag. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any red on it. It looks like it's uh, pure black. And you've got this awesome embroidered design of um, of Bison's Shadowloo organization here. Uh, this is completely embroidered. I don't know how close I can get it without it losing itself. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. There we go. So as you can see, yeah, it's really nice. It's embroidered right into the bag. This isn't some cheap iron-on. It's not. Uh, it's not a a bad idea silk screen because on this kind of material silk screen tends to not hold very well especially on the outside of things so it's it's legit it's really nice and then down here in the corner you have a little uh, the Street Fighter logo because this is a collaboration between them and them and Capcom and again that is entirely embroidered uh, hopefully it can focus in on it there we go so yeah um, that's it's really solid okay so now that we've got that part of the way you have like I said you have this thing that kind of tucks away, so if you don't want to use it as a backpack, you can. it doesn't have to be hanging out and looking like a backpack, you can tuck it away so it's not in the way. Uh, if you need to uh, put it in an overhead compartment if you're flying, you know, probably getting that out of the way is probably a better idea. Uh, it even has the, the backpack hook right here, so I guess you could carry it like this if you wish, or you could hang it up on a wall when you're in your um, hotel room if you don't want it lying on the floor. And if you've ever worked at a hotel, you don't want anything that you own touching the floor um, <laughs> you don't want anything you tone touching anything in a hotel, honestly. So here's the little um, little tag. It's got the little split frame. I mean, this is literally just like something you would find on your clothes at Target or something you would just pop off and throw away. Um, nothing special about it. Just says split frame, collaboration, Street Fighter, uh, Divided United, Shadowloo Transporter XL Special Edition, Shadowloo Psycho Transporter. Um, color black, but there are no other colors as far as I know. And of course, this zips into another compartment. And once again, uh, you have so the compartment. If you can see my hand, I'll try to get this. It, it's it's that deep. I mean, again, I'm six six one and a half, six two, and my hands are not small. So, I mean, I can fit my entire hand in there up to the wrist. And it and it starts here, and it goes all the way across. Basically, the entire length of the zipper is the pouch. So that's a nice little pouch. Um, you can put. I mean, if you're traveling, you can stick your documents that you might need for air travel. Uh, if you're going internationally, you can put your passports or whatnot in there. Um, if you needed to stick some extra buttons or tools in there, you could probably do that as well. Uh, it's nice to always have an extra pouch in any backpack-ish design. And uh, so I think I think that's it for the extra stuff on the outside. Yeah, that's it. So now let's get to the nitty gritty here. So this bag is designed to open from the front long ways like this. Like this is actually the door uh, to the bag, which is really nice to be able to slide your, your stick directly in. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. So again, you've got two of these rather nice uh, split frame zippers. These zippers are really nice too. I mean, the whole thing screams quality. Honestly, the whole thing screams quality. Um, none of this looks cheap. It all looks like something you would get out of like a really solid backpack if you were to buy like one of those, you know, upper echelon like $80 backpacks. Like this is kind of what it's looking like. So that's that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, there we go. All right, so stun zip it. There we go. Oh wow. Huh. Okay. Well, there you go. So it actually it comes with a strap. So if you prefer to do the, the if you're if you're not one of the backpack dudes, if you're one of those single strap across dudes. There you go. You got your little single strap. Um, that's also, I was also kind of wondering what these were for, but now I guess I have my answer. You can just uh, get the single strap across there. It's got a, uh, a metal and plastic, metal and plastic hook, so it should be easy to take off and it should be fairly sturdy. Um, it rotates, so you don't have to worry about it getting tangled too much. So that's nice. That's a nice, uh, nice bonus extra there. Uh, it's got the, 
Psycho Crusher. So again, this this is a silk screen, but this is not the same canvas material that's on the outside of the backpack, so that should be just fine. Also, it's not going to be out to the weather. It's going to be inside, so it should never really have problems. Um, it looks really nice. I don't know that I would necessarily, you know, if I were designing the bag, that I would do that. But again, being an artist, I recognize and respect other artists' decision-making process, and this is definitely not um, some stock font. Clearly, someone designed this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so, you know, I would I would give it no. I, I have no qualms with them putting it in there. So as it is, it's not it's not like it's terrible. It's not like oh my god, what what, what did you put that on there for? It's you know who's going to see it when it's closed, right? You're going to open it, take your stick out, and close it. Um, so this it also it's 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 holding. Oh what? Oh wow. Okay. So this is like a whole chunk of padded material to continue to pr um, protect your stick. And it's on styrofoam. So if it's in the way, you can take it off. And again, like I said, if this really bugs you, if you're like, what the hell did they do that for? Just take it off. <laughs> Maybe even put Velcro on the other side of it so you don't have to look at it if you want this padding still on there. But again, it doesn't bother me that much. It's just, you know. All right, so yeah, so that, that gets out of the way so that you can get into the bag, of, into the stick a little bit easier. And then we get in here. And so right away, uh, it has an indentation here for where your joystick goes. So your joystick is basically isolated inside the bag so that it shouldn't be able to get knocked around. That's really cool. Um, also, that's also on Velcro, so if you want to take that out, if you find that it's just kind of in your way and it's annoying you, you can take it out and you're, you're not worried about having padding above the joystick, then you can take that out as well. And that's kind of cool. So now that we've uh, said all that, let's go ahead and try sticking the uh, VLX in here, shall we? Give me one moment to go grab it. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, oh, oh, wait, this isn't the same stick that I did the unboxing for, huh, looks like I got the Japanese one, maybe there will be an unboxing for this, so let's go ahead and see how it fits, huh, all right, so you just, let's see, okay, put that in there, oh, wow, yeah, this thing fits up like a glove. Right. Wow, one thing is for sure, your stick is going to be safe in here. Right. Let's see how the stick is. So when I was pushing it in here, I was a little worried that the stick, I was a little worried that the stick might be getting pushed back as it's going in, I mean, which just means it's like you're holding it up, basically, um, which isn't that big of a deal, but still it's something to keep in mind, but it looks like it's actually neutral. Yeah, it's, it's not in any one position. Um, I can feel the bag is bumping up right here, so, so I guess that's sort of your decision. Like, if, if having the bag lump up just a little bit right here bugs you, you can take this piece of padding out and then that will leave the stick completely alone. But if you would prefer to have some sort of cushion here in case the bag gets bumped or whatnot, you can leave it in. So I guess that would be just down to preference, like how you're going to be transporting it and what you need to worry about. Like if you're gonna be throwing this into an airplane and saying, yeah, just take this and I'll pick it up at the, at the, you know, the turnstile when I get to wherever I'm going, then you probably wanna leave the padding in here because it's gonna get jostled around. But if it's gonna be in your care the whole time and you prefer to not have the lump there, you can take this out and you're good. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it the way it is. Just leave it as is. Let's go ahead and uh, zip this bad boy up. It's got double layering. It's got double layering in here. So if somehow anything were to get through the zipper, which I don't see how it could, but if for something were to get through the zipper, there's an extra layer of protection in there. So there it is. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, like I said, it's just really snug in there. Um, again, so maybe you can see it. I'll try to turn it sideways. And let's see, it's on this side, so turn a little bit. So I don't know if you can even tell, but the bag is lumping just ever so slightly right here, and that's where the joystick is, and that's because of that, because of that extra padding. So if you were to take that extra padding out, it would be completely flat, but you'd be lacking any sort of protection right where the joystick is. All right, so now let me go ahead and uh, fake put the backpack on here and see how it feels with all the extra weight. Yeah, this is totally doable. 
this feels like my backpack from when I was in school and I had 50,000 books. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, this is pretty awesome. Um, if you have one of these sticks, if you have one of the VLX uh, Gigantos, then you're going to need some form of a uh, bag to protect it. And this bag is definitely going to do the trick. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot else out there that you can, I mean, there's no other bag specifically made for fight sticks that will fit one of these gigantic monsters. And in terms of like buying something that's not specifically made for it, so maybe you want to get a little bit more utility out of your bag. Like, I mean, that's how I used to do it. I had a backpack for my old stick. That way I could use my backpack for other stuff too. Um, there's no backpack big enough to fit one of these things. So you're, you're looking at a duffel bag essentially. And then when you use a duffel bag, like I said, there's not a whole lot of padding around it. So you're gonna have to throw a bunch of extra crap in there to protect the stick, which is sort of annoying and weird. Um, nothing like pulling out your fight stick and moving underwear and socks out of the way to get at your fight stick while people look at you like you're crazy. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and see how it is to, to take it out, finally. Also, you know, I question, you know, I, let's see this. I'm going to put this back in here, and I want to see if it even closes, because this bag is just like perfect for this stick. It doesn't... Oh, wow. Okay, so there you go. You just got to make sure that you push the stick all the way to the back and then that little foam padding fits nicely in there you go yeah so okay perfect okay so i just wanted to i was curious about that it just seemed like it was so in there i didn't think there would be enough room for the padding but i actually had a little bit more extra room on the other side that i didn't realize because i don't have extra vision also i think this is uh you can take this out to make it easier to pull the stick out um because as you can see, if I were to try to pull the stick out right now, this would definitely be in the way. But to be fair, if you put it at the edge of a table, the flap would just come down like this, and then it shouldn't be in the way. So, it's, But since I don't have access to that, I'm just going to go ahead and take that out of the way and see. Yeah, so there we go. So it's not, it's not hard to get it out, but it's not easy because the bag fits the stick so well. Um, let's see if there's anything else that comes out or I should be aware of to let you guys know of. No, this all feels pretty legit. Okay, yeah, so the, the padding on the sides is pretty intense. The, the padding has got to be about two inches thick, and it's, it's, it's sort of soft on the inside, but it's really hard on the outside. Well, not really hard, not like knock-knock hard, but um, it, seems, it seems harder. So there may be some sort of material in between the, um, in between the canvas and the, and, the, and the styrofoam padding. Uh, this one on the bottom actually does feel hard, like this feels, not, again, not knock knock hard, but it feels very firm, I should be saying, I guess. Uh, this bottom part feels very firm. Uh, this top part feels feels a little bit less firm, but still very firm. And then this piece feels about the same. And this piece feels very firm. So yeah, I mean, you've got like a good, this is like two inches thick. So you've got two inches of pretty darn thick padding all around your stick to protect it. And that's what you want for something that costs this much money. And this top section actually has like, there's like the two inches of padding here, but then there seems to be another half inch pad up here as well. So it feels like there's more padding up here on the top than there is on the bottom or on the sides. So, I mean, I have, I, I literally just unboxed this, so I don't feel comfortable uh, giving a review to something that I just got. Um, you know, obviously something like this requires a little bit of uh, travel before you can decide whether or not it's it's you know worth its weight you know and this fits all the bills because I, I have had one of those backpacks before uh, and this fits just all the bills it's got a, it's really durable it's got it looks like it has double stitching it looks really thick it's got that extra piece of um, stitching to the, the extra lining between the zipper to protect everything in here from the zipper getting caught like that's one major thing with uh, cheaper backpacks is they don't usually have this little extra flap and so the, the, the softer material or anything you might have in there when you zip it can get caught in the zipper, but this thing has that there to protect the zipper from having that happen. Um, the inside material feels really nice. I mean, the, the whole thing pretty much screams quality, so I can't imagine this stick not holding up. The price is high, but this is, again, a it's like a $100 bag, but again, I've bought backpacks of this quality that were around 80 so $20 more isn't that big of a deal. Um, although it is specific, but then again, if you know anything about buying things that are made for a specific audience, they tend to be higher because you can't sell them to a large audience, so you have to make a smaller quantity of them, and, and the price goes up. Uh, also, speaking of smaller quantities, there's only 175 of these. So for 100 bucks for something that only 175 other people in the world could have, not that bad, not that bad. And I really like, I really like the logo there, that's pretty awesome. It's just, 
It's just really nice. It's just a really well put together, well well thought out bag that looks really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, if any of you folks have a, a one of these larger VLXs and you do plan on going to majors and you don't really have a transport solution, currently you're just sort of like, you know, putting it over your shoulder and walking with it or whatever, um, You and, and you're kind of looking at maybe finding something, if you've got 300 bucks to blow on one of these, an extra hundred for a bag to protect it isn't that big of a deal, but you'll want to jump on this immediately. I'm not trying to, you know, sell for the company or anything. I'm just saying their other stick says it is sold out and there's not going to be any more made. And this thing is limited to 175 pieces. And right now I can tell you that's actually 174. Uh, so uh, if you if you order it before June, you get a $20 discount, which keeps it right around $100. Let me check their website real quick and I can tell you exactly how much. Yeah, so... Um, they knock, it looks like 15 bucks off the price, so it's 104.98 before shipping for this for this bag. And then after June 1st, I assume, the price will go up to 119.98. So it's not cheap, but it does what it says it does, and it does it with a lot of quality and a lot of style. So I'll leave it up to you whether or not you like it internet. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I definitely think that this thing will be getting some usage when I start uh, walking around with it. That's it for today, internet. Johnny, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, like it. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions you'd like to throw out there, drop them in the comments section below. That's it for today, Internet. John, eh? Bye-bye.